Hello and welcome to AM TV, and we're back again for another reaction video with myself and Matt. And we got this video come up on the timeline from um, Pierce Morgan. Pierce. <laughs> Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce Morgan uh, reacting to Emma Raducanu's um, HSBC video. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so uh, let's see if we can. Uh, See what's going in and uh, decipher. See if we're going to change banks because of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could do. Could do. Never know. Seven butchers. Good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan on Sense. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's about an advertising campaign so helplessly woke and absurd, but I'm convinced it was designed specifically to irritate me. <laughs> Not long ago, in a large glass building filled with smug people and kale smoothies, the marketing team at HSBC <laughs> commissioned a children's author to rewrite three classic fairy tales. You might oh, well no. think that's an unusual Lord. thing for a bank to do. Very yeah, so I do. Comfortably, I'll allow them to explain. With financial attitudes shaped as early as five years old, the new book challenges traditional gender stereotypes. Oh, gosh. At this point, I've already lost track, really, of exactly why the bank is rewriting fairy tales five years or old. what any of it has got. So, before we... What's bank got to do with gender like? I don't know. And what five years old? I didn't even know what a quid was. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate. Yeah, it's like yeah. This is we have to continue. Oh, mate. I, speechless with gender stereotypes, but it gets worse. The book called Fairer Fairer Tales reimagines Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Rapunzel, a successful businesswoman. Prince Charming is inevitably a race as the main character. He's a prince and he's charming. But apparently that's not enough. The marketing geniuses decided to pay tennis player Emma Raducanu to read the stories. Reasons which remain unclear. This is how it went. Ace, where have you been? The boys and girls are here and they're waiting to hear the three tales about... <laughs> Honey. My oh, name's mate. Emma and this is Ace. We have a fantastic story for you today. Oh, so, uh, her acting's not very good. Oh, mate, she's about as wooden as this table. Her acting's not very good. It's terrible. <laughs> her tennis is a lot better than her acting. Let's have a go. Now, the story may seem like one you'd know, but the characters in it are a little bit different. It's hard to believe, but the tennis ball exchanging hilarious banter with Emma. Hilarious <laughs> banter. It's real in CGI, and believe it or not, Emma is a oh, tennis is player, not an actor. But let's not distract from the powerful core message. So in Which the end, what? the princesses didn't need a prince to save them. They set up their own businesses, saved their money, and then spent it very wisely. <laughs> Thanks to our princesses, Ace has learned some new money skills. Maybe you'll buy a tower one day, or set up your own shoe business, or any business you want. Now that you've learned how to save and spend money, you can do <laughs> If you'll anything. loan me the bloody money, I will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is HSBC, which... You uh, are joking. ...is... Like with like not giving people overdrafts, not giving people loans, not giving anything. Cancelling their bank accounts because they don't like them. And they want to come. The Mexican tell... drug cartel come in and slap a bag of cash on the desk and they just deposit it. That's all right. No, mate. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. But if I want a grand overdraft, they go, "Oh, your credit history is a bit." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are they getting involved with? Like Canada Square, number one, Aaron, in Canary Wolf. What are they doing? It's taking a piss in it. Just do you do you do what you're there for? Just take, to piss people take off. Take my money, money and don't worry about my children. Don't worry. No, about No, I'll take of that. care of that. <laughs> That's what the the your children. They're not. The, the, That's and, right. And and the, the the kind of message. Okay, we can want to empower women and all no, that. No, no issue with that. But HSBC getting involved with it. I don't but want them getting involved with anything. You're, other than you're a bank. Yeah. And for God's sake, of get someone who can act now. Yeah, for God's yeah. sake. Get, get an actor. Yeah. <laughs> Should you? Like, Emma Thompson would have been great in that. Yeah, you probably paid her about half a million. Her agent's wicked to get her that gig oh, anyway. Do mate, you know what I mean? Yeah, Honestly, that's, yeah. uh, that's incredible, really. That is. Oh, wow. That is. I mean, surely they must have done a test run and gone, oh, I don't know. We might go with Maria Sharapova or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mm. mean, like, uh, even Venus or Serena would have been better. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Obviously. easily, mate. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, wow. It's like I said, this table would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, she's not going to get a BAFTA for that, mate. No, honestly. no, no, That's rising star. Women is by <laughs> trashing men, and as Anna says, women don't need men at all. <laughs> she certainly never needed any men, as far as we know, to get where she is today. Except, well, a father, of course, who manages her career and, well, fathered her. That's right. And then there are her five coaches, who so far have all been male. Or Max Eisenbach, her agent, who apparently is very, very good at maximising her earning potential, despite being a man. And then a final twist to this dastardly tale of virtue signaling treachery, it turns out the chairman, chief executive and chief financial officer on HSBC's board of directors are all men too. Mm, well, join me now to talk point. to the contributor, uh, Mr. Cracker. Should be sorting that out, shouldn't they, really? <laughs> author Grace Blakely. Gosh, Grace. Oh, good Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to start with this. I mean, apart from the fact that as a man... I just mute it when Grace comes in. <laughs> I think she's great. Uh, and when she won the US Open, it was amazing. But she hasn't won a shoe box since then. And I think she's spending too much time on this commercial stuff and not enough time on the court. That's my personal view as a man. Take it, leave it, Here, crash it, whatever I you think, want. I think you're missing, actually, the most important part of this story, right? Which isn't like the, the big man versus women battle that we're all supposed to take a side in. It's the fact that HSBC... I'm sorry, did she not watch it? Was it? Was there any mention of with with Prince Charming and him not wanting... Any, yeah. You know, I'll let her speak, because is a massive international you know, bank that has oh, frequently yeah, been know. accused of uh, things like money laundering. It was yep. accused of money okay. laundering for Mexican drug cartels. It was accused of supporting tax yep. avoidance and evasion. It's frequently threatened the government of the UK to relocate to another part of the world if it, if we, you know, um, say, do something like raise tax, tax on corporations or if we start regulating the financial sector properly. And this is basically attempt, an attempt to kind of pink... Was she actually talking sense? I agree with absolutely everything yeah, you said, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, I've got yeah. a feeling it's going to go downhill in a minute, okay. but... <laughs> Quashing it, saying, don't look at all the terrible things that we've been embroiled in over the last several decades. Don't look at the fact that we're basically trying to undermine democracy by, by telling you what laws you can and can't pass. Just look at the fact that we've done a nice, pretty little fairy tale. And, oh, by the way, if you're a woman and you start a business, then that's great, and that makes you a good woman. Feminism isn't for people who don't get the chance to start. And it certainly isn't uh, a great thing to be a woman at HSBC, where the vast majority of the people well, the yeah, yeah. are actually men. I mean, that's the, the problem with this, it's a bit like Barbie the movie. It's a bit like all these things. I thought that was There's all right. kind of subtext here. I haven't, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it myself, point. but yeah, I heard it. Right. I heard it's, it's quite a lot. Of like, Men are getting yes. ribbed in yeah, it, but yeah, 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 so what? You can say you can take it. Nah, yeah, yeah, mate, it yeah, weren't yeah. that bad. Like yeah. any man that's offended over that film, I think Piers was. He's definitely uh, a bit precious. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, a bit precious, yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah, maybe we react to that one as well. <laughs> and you should never not just rely on them, but have them in your life. Just well, expunge think... men from the world, and all will be fine. <laughs> Well, yes, but I think we should be more concerned with why a bank or any business feels the need to actually do this. I, I don't remember asking HSBC what they think about fairy tales or women in business or anything like that. Why can't they just be a business? Be a bank. Why That's do it. businesses feel the need to, to lecture us or take a particular political position as if we need them as our moral, moral I, arbiters I, or anything? I, I, I mean, totally agree. I mean, Kevin, bizarre. I, Kevin, we've seen this time and again now. Don't Companies let me down, Kevin. just doing these woke advertising campaign. <laughs> None of which works. You know what I'm saying. But there's an immediate backlash from all their customers who don't like this kind of thing. I think it's a growing number of people, whether you're Bud Light or Gillette when they played this stunt or any of these others. Now Gillette was awful. <laughs> the Bud Light one that went, it was mental it's though. Wasn't it? <laughs> like, people Light, still ain't Bud buying Light, it now. Bud Light and Gillette had an absolute effort. I didn't night see the Gillette there, one, mate. but I saw the Bud Light one. And yeah, then, like there yeah. was people doing yeah. reaction videos where they were like getting their shotguns out and shooting a load <laughs> of bad Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> That's our <hardcore>, call. <laughs> Yeah, that dummy, mate. Yeah, he mate, actually that's... got an AK-47. And just <laughs> smashed the hell out of it. Oh, mate. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was awesome, mate. That I was... love that. That was... Uh... That was that, that was is, that was a clear no. That was just yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah, he left it in no answer. Yeah. So. Well, I'm going to say what Grace said, which is you're just a bunch of flaming hypocrites, or they're going to say stop talking to me about this stuff. Just make my bank do do its job. Be a banker. That's why I love it because it backfires. <laughs> you didn't let me down, Kev. Go on. Look, you open a business with them, you can't keep up your repayments on a loan, and they'll have you. They'll have the shirt off your back. <laughs> 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 
Shush me up. Okay, no. There's a whole industry convincing them they should do this. And I whoever, I whoever, whoever, I the, whoever's this doing it, and good luck to the advertising people who get them to do this nonsense. Can I just say, uh, yeah. I'm kudos to Emma Raducanu's agent for actually getting her this game. Because she's a terrible oh, actress. Yeah. She looks like as wooden as a board. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is a, an important underlying story here, right? Which is the reason for why they're doing this. Greenwashing, pinkwashing, things like ethical consumption, is that most people realise that the system we live in is incredibly unfair. They want to, you know, do things to support, to prevent climate breakdown. They want to do things to support, you know, equal rights and, and prevent, you know, the economy from privileging certain people over others. And corporations are basically trying to make money out of this. Yeah. Just like they're making money they out are. of the climate, it you know, work. dying. It's Just totally like cynical, out of mate. Wait, she's been spot on the entire. I've got to so. say, well done, yeah, Grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I came in. Usually, I, am, I came in yeah. with a pre. Uh, I threatened to meet her a little while ago, and uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, uh, yeah, she's done well. She's done great. Okay, that's... Didn't disagree with anything she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For once, um, yeah. So that was, uh, yeah. I, I, overall, I, I agreed with everyone with what everyone said, and you can see. I think Kevin. <laughs> Just tore the arse off it when he said he yeah. does when they do it because it always backfires. It always backfires. It does, yeah. Jimmy. You know I mean? When you try to be in business and then try to mix political ideologies in with it's not, business, it's not it going to work, work out for you. No, it doesn't work. It ain't I think work we've seen countless of it. I think it doesn't matter whether it's left G or Gillette right. Gillette being the worst for me, for really. I, I really dislike that <laughs> campaign. And uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, have you not picked up one of his? <laughs> I was going to say, have you gone with um, old uh, Wilkinson Sword? Oh, Wilkinson Sword all the way, mate. <laughs> oh, Wilkinson Sword all the way. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, yeah, the next video we might do might be involve Ricky Gervais and uh, his show. Um, because it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it was it Afterlife? Afterlife, yeah. I yeah. think we've got to do Outtakes. the... Outtakes. Uh, Ratty and the, uh, and the nods. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later. Well, Bye-bye. Um,